Fifteen years ago in 2006, Whiteland's baseball team made a run all the way to the Final Four. We spoke to former assistant coach David Edens about what led them to this big opportunity. Uh, it was interesting. The year before, we were about 500, and in the sectional championship game, we played a Beach Grove team that had won four games uh, leading up to that point. And actually, we had beat them quite a, pretty easily in the middle, in, earlier in the year, and they beat us in the sectional championship game. And so we adopted this theme of no regrets. Coach Sears came up with no regrets. You saw it on t-shirts. We talked about it every day because we left that previous year really upset to the fact that we didn't win that sectional because we should have. And so the whole year, that next year, we talked about no regrets, never leave the field with that feeling again. So the year before really fueled uh, the run we were able to make that year. Next, we spoke to head coach Kenny Sears about some of his favorite memories from that season. Oh, there were a lot of good memories. They were just they were a fun group. Some of the kids would sit on the bus and tell stories about hunting deer and everything else besides baseball. So it was just a good group of kids that liked to play baseball. Uh, obviously winning the sectional was a big thing. Winning the regional was a fun night. Uh, the first game of the semi-state down at Jasper, uh, we 10 run to team, which was, was a lot of fun. And then the afternoon waiting to play Jasper that night. Uh, just a lot of memories of good kids liking to play baseball. Coaches can help the team, but standout players can take them far. We talked to Edens about some of the standout players on the team. Adam Money, Dr. Adam Money now, he, uh, he went to play football out at Yale, and now he's a, you know, he's a surgeon. The interesting part is part of the reason that I ended up being, you know, getting recruited to go play uh, college football at Yale was um, one of my coaches at Yale told me this uh, a couple years, I think my junior year, and kind of they were deciding between me and another player. Uh, and the two of the coaches said, this guy plays baseball and they've had successful baseball teams. The other kid didn't play baseball. And honestly, that was part of the reason that I ended up choosing me over this other kid. For some people, just getting to the Final Four is their best memory. Eans has some other memories besides just getting to the Final Four. Probably at the semi-state, we were down at Jasper and after we won the first game, we all went to a hotel, we just kind of relaxed, and it was it was just one of those days you don't get too often high school sports because you don't make runs like that very often. So that day in particular, we weren't expected to win a game, we weren't expected to be there, and to be able to hang out and enjoy that for that championship game is probably the single best memory. But that whole year was, I look back on it, and it, the memories are crystal clear from that year just because it was so unexpected, and it was just a really fun group of kids and coaches for sure. For Whiteland Baseball, it will always be a season to remember. And it was just a great year. Uh, it was one of those unexpected sure. years. I mean, it's, it's one of my top memories as a coach. Hey, that was, even though the, the other things after that were great, that moment I just uh, was probably one of the greatest of you know, high school athletics. Sports.